Hi, this is Andy Kubiszewski, and we're at the Fantasy Theater, and uh, I'm here talking with Anthony Kaczynski and Rick Rolski from the band Figures on a Beach, and they have a new album out. This is it, Standing on Ceremony. Probably that's looks us. real good on the camera, that's them. And uh, I guess what I want to do is, first thing I think I want to ask you is, why did you guys leave the Detroit area? You were in Detroit for a long time basically a lot of stagnation and uh, the uh, hoped for major deals will never were coming through in Detroit for us so we thought if we put ourselves in the most brutal environment possible which is Boston, this is Boston with mm -hmm. 2300 garage bands and no place for a band like ours that maybe we would do well. Can't get much more brutal than that. <laughs> and it is kind of brutal there, it's very competitive it's so it's good. Well the thing was is we were kind of like got to be kings of the hill back in Detroit and uh, you know we if you, there's only two places you can go, you either leave or you break up. And uh, so we chose we chose, we chose the former. <laughs> Why did you guys record your record in England instead of in New York? Say so because it was produced by Ivan Ivan, and when I think of Ivan Ivan, I think of New York Dance Club. Yeah, uh, economics. Really? Believe it or and not, it was it was um, cheaper to record there, and uh, it's nice to go to Mecca. It, it caught a certain vibe. I mean, you know, it's kind of like as far as listener orientation, where we all kind of came from. Do you think really that is. going to England was kind of because of that, there's this kind of subconscious thing that people get, they think synth band, they think England. It's like they're... Well, we're not a synth band. No. I, as much MIDI stuff is, is up here, I really don't like to think of us as a synth band because I think that synth band implies that you can't write a song, and I think we can write songs. Well, I don't mean it in that band. Yeah. I mean, just but like, a lot of people refer to it that way, and it's a bone of contention with us, I when think. When they see technology, they They, they sort of run think screaming that, you know, from it and right. think, oh, The no. machines are doing it all, not them, but that's not the case. Well, I'm just talking about the whole general sound of the movement. You know, mm -hmm. this musical movement seems, it came from, you know, across the sea. Right. And a lot of people look at a band like yourselves from the United States and they'll go, it's new way from England. You know, it, it's... Well, well I like they're the, not listening. I like, yeah, they're not listening. And I think that, that if they really listened hard, they'd see us sort of like in a hovercraft somewhere over the like ocean with like, like equal parts industrial Midwestern sludge and like Europop, you know? It's what we listen to and where we're from. Right, so but it's right, Europop. Because I was reading the lyrics to the one song, The Big Top, and it's one of the things you said was, do I sound American enough? Well, that used to be a line that was thrown at us a lot in the early days. The love. You guys should people. look more American. You guys got to look more American. <laughs> and what about this haircut? And write a song that sounds like that. And you, you don't know, sing, or you sing too British, you don't sound like Right. It's they wanted him to dance like Prince. Your old management was called Ceremony. Mm -hmm. And the title of the album no, is there's no connection. Is no. Standing on Ceremony. And I just, just out of curiosity, that caught my eye. And I mm, wondered if uh, perhaps there was... We are not... Uh, averse to in jokes and I'm glad you caught it. 